You say requirements that sex offenders register may or may not be unconstitutional depending upon whether, quote, sex of, in which sex offenders have no privacy right in registration information or blood samples. So you suggest that may or may not be constitutional, although you, you raise doubts about it. And then you raise very significant doubts about community notification, and you heavily suggest that civil commitment for sexual predators is unconstitutional. Do you still agree with the sentiments you expressed in, in your law school note? Respectfully, Senator, those are not the sentiments that I expressed in my law school note. My law school note was about sex offender registration laws, which at the time were relatively new. As uh, you know from our time in law school, one of the things that law school students do is they look for new developments in the law and they try to analyze them. That's something that makes for good fodder for a law school note. My note, uh, which came out in 1996, was shortly after there were new Megan's laws. And the point that I was making was not that the laws were bad, that the laws were wrong. I was trying to assess uh, something that is uh, sort of fundamental in terms of the characterization of the laws. I didn't say that they were unconstitutional one way or the other. What I was trying to assess was how they are characterized. Some, um, some courts would look at those laws and call them preventative, and that has a certain set of uh, uh, consequences. Some courts would call them punitive, and that has a certain set of consequences. And what I was trying to do is figure out how to make the determination, whether they were punitive or preventative. 